great. Thank you. Francis, you want to? Whereas the Oklahoma City Water Utilities Trust is a public trust created under Title 60 of the Oklahoma Statutes 1960 for the primary purpose of financing the construction, installation, maintenance, improvement, and repair of the water and wastewater systems for the City of Oklahoma City. Whereas Cody Graves served as Oklahoma City Water Utilities Trust Independent Trustee from 2001 to 2018. Whereas during Mr. Graves' service, major capital improvement projects bettering water and wastewater service in Oklahoma City were achieved, including significant improvements and expansions at all water and wastewater treatment plants. Through his leadership as independent trustee, Cody Graves helped the Water Trust achieve the highest rated long-term bond rating possible by Standard & Poor's, AAA, and Moody's, uh, A a AAA, <laughs> placing uh, the Water Trust in the top 5.5% and 3.2% respectively of water and wastewater utilities nationwide, confirming excellency and consistency in implementing proper policies and oversight over a sustained number of years, thereby giving the trust the lowest possible borrowing rates. Whereas also as independent trustee, Cody helped the Water Trust secure long-term water supply rights for the residents of Oklahoma City and Central Oklahoma at Canton Lake and Sardis Lake in a long-term agreement with the Oklahoma Water Resources Board for the Kaimichi Basin water rights. Whereas Cody Graves' service as independent trustee has ensured future generations of Oklahomans will have a reliable, safe, and resilient water supply sustaining future growth and development in the central Oklahoma region. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the trustees of the Oklahoma City Water Utilities Trust that they hereby gratefully recognize the leadership, dedication, and noble contributions of Cody Graves during his 17 years of loyal service to the Oklahoma City Water Utilities Trust. Thank you. You're welcome to say a few words. <laughs> um, first of all, thank you. I appreciate very much the opportunity uh, that you've given me to serve. Um, I, I really don't think that the citizens of Oklahoma City appreciate the outstanding professional staff that they have uh, at all levels. Um, and this trust has just been another example of that. I've been fortunate enough to serve with two general managers and a general manager emeritus who served on the trust the entire time that I was here. Um, and, and we are in good hands. They, they say that great organizations, um, when there's a, a transition in personnel and leadership, that people never notice. And, and I have no doubt that that will be the case with the Water Trust. So thank you. Thank you for everything. Mr. Chairman, we need to vote on that resolution. Don't go Wait yet. A There's a question. Uh, move approval. Is there a second? Move and seconded. All in favor, please say aye. Or I'll like that. You got in. <laughs> Minutes of the September 11, 2013 meeting have been distributed. I'd recognize a motion to approve them. It's moved and seconded. Any discussion? We'll vote. Approved. We have several items on the consent docket. Is there a motion to approve the consent docket? The items subject to individual consideration. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Are there any comments about any of the items? Seeing none, we'll vote. Approved the consent docket. There does not appear to be a concurrence docket. Are there items for individual consideration? Are there any items from trustees? I do want to comment for our new trustee to 
let her know that we really do have meat on this agenda from time to time. <laughs> Generally, there's presentations and there's, there are items of substance that we do, just not today. <laughs> Sometimes we move faster than others. General Manager Report. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. A couple of things I'd like to point out. First of all, the uh, performer indicates that uh, revenues are on target for water and wastewater. Expenses for water are a little below expect expected levels, about uh, almost 4%, uh, primarily because we have not uh, had to turn on the overholzer treatment facility this year. Um, and the uh, wastewater expenses are on target, so we're in pre pretty good shape financially. Secondly, um, our plan was to keep Lake Atoka about five feet down, and we failed on that mission this week with 15 inches of rain down southeast Oklahoma. Yeah. So we're going to have to work harder on that. <laughs> um, all the lakes, uh, McGee Creek's almost four feet above full pool. Atoka's uh, um, about two feet below full pool. Our target was five feet below. Um, Hefner is above full pool by nearly a foot. Uh, Overholzer is about full. Canton's above full pool. Uh, Draper is a little low because uh, we're not pumping to Draper. Uh, we're working on the uh, surge protection system on the pipeline, so we haven't been able to, uh, to turn on the pumps. Uh, we should be uh, back up and running pretty soon on that, uh, you know, getting the water from southeast Oklahoma up to Draper, so it should recover pretty quickly. So with that, that's all I had, Mr. Chairman. Are there any citizens to be heard? Seeing none, we're adjourned.